Starvation diets versus intermittent fasting, which one is better? For those of you who don't know, the so-called starvation diet is a diet plan aimed to highly restrict calorie intake. Our bodies naturally go into starvation mode when we eat less than what we're supposed to. You might think that this is a good way to lose weight. If you don't meet your daily calorie needs, you're bound to start burning fat, right? However, it's better to consider the quality of food we eat rather than reduce the amount of calories that go into our bodies. Furthermore, when the body goes into starvation mode, metabolism slows down. It's a natural reaction. The body will try to conserve resources to survive, so what it does is slow down metabolism. And remember, this is not our goal when trying to lose weight. We want our metabolism to be faster, not slower. Starvation diet plans may also put you at risk of becoming deficient in important nutrients such as proteins and vitamins. You will lack important nutrients that the body needs to burn fat and lose weight. If you're not getting enough protein, your muscles can reduce in size, giving way to more body fat and slowing your metabolism further. The key to healthy weight loss is to reduce belly fat while maintaining lean muscles. This creates a stronger metabolism. But before we move on, if you're enjoying this video so far, give us a like, subscribe to our channel for more health-related videos, and click the bell icon for notifications every time we upload a video. Most people say that they lose a lot of weight with a starvation diet, but that's not good weight loss. It's unhealthy and all you ever lose is water weight. What's more is that this kind of diet disrupts the natural rhythm of our bodies that regulate the feeling of hunger and satiety. Unfortunately, this is what causes most people to binge. After a long period of having too few calories and disrupting your metabolism, you will have a higher tendency to overeat because the body's hunger signals have been disrupted. As much as calorie restriction is harmful, it's also important to practice portion control. Overeating is not a healthy habit, so keep your portions modest. A lot of foods are low calorie but are packed with healthy nutrients that we need. Take nuts for example. Nuts have protein, fat, carbohydrates, and fiber, all of which help you feel full longer, unlike highly processed foods that have no nutritional value. But what about intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is a whole lot different and is seen more favorably by many studies compared to starvation diet plans. In intermittent fasting, you are not required to restrict your calories. You will still be getting the right amount for your body daily. Instead of switching to starvation mode, your body will switch to fasted mode or what is popularly known as ketosis. When you're in this state, your metabolic rate or fat burning process is heightened. Also, your muscles won't waste away because you are not lacking in your daily nutrition. Intermittent fasting allows you to eat normally and healthy while adhering to a certain schedule. Remember, not eating for some time has different effects from eating but with too little calories. Intermittent fasting aids fat burning because your metabolism has the opportunity to work during the time window that you're not eating. And then you must aim to burn body fat because that equals health. Here's a tip. If you want to help your metabolism burn fat faster on top of other healthy practices, up your antioxidant intake. Fruits, herbs, and other plant-based foods are a rich source of antioxidants that help you fight diseases, including obesity. One way you can do that is by taking herbal supplements. One supplement that has plenty of weight loss promoting antioxidants is the Okinawa Flat Belly Tonic. This herbal supplement comes from Okinawa, Japan, a place where people live long lives and are in terrific shape. One woman by the name of Susan Atley shared her experience with a tonic. She used to be obese and she felt that the condition was leading her to an early grave. After seven weeks of continued use, she lost a total of 54 pounds. This may be surprising if you want to know more about Susan's story in a video, go to the description box below and click on the link provided. So there we have it. Compared to the starvation diet, intermittent fasting done consistently can yield better results. If you like this video, check out the rest of our channel and subscribe so you can watch new videos we upload regularly. Also, click the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching!